My parents are inviting us to the summer place for the big 4th of July weekend. I can't leave my father. This is the first summer since we have to say goodbye to your dear mother, and you're going to leave me to burn his papas and eat the hot dogs alone! It's pretty unbelievable. I mean, just looking over at my wife, my sister, who uh, flew all the way from Los Angeles, my mother. It's, it's great. I mean, I'm pinching myself. I can't believe I wrote a movie about my dad and number one, Robert De Niro's playing my father, and we're all here to enjoy it, so it's pretty special. Why don't we just bring him? No, nah, I don't think so. Us, us kind of being cut from the same cloth, we are um, middle class guys who both married upper class women, so we had a lot of in, in common of like talking about the other side of the family and how they behave, and that's kind of where the whole script originated from. I, well, I Paul White is here somewhere, and, and his brother sent me the script. And we talked about it, and then we had a reading, and I met the director, Laura Teruso, who's a New Yorker from an Italian neighborhood. Everybody was, everybody was um, very tightly entrenched in this world, and so there was a good foundation. It's great. You know, we made this movie in 2021. Wow, that long ago, and um, it, it took a long time. It was a difficult film to make while COVID was raging in the South, in Mobile, Alabama. Um, so we kind of bonded together. So when I see Leslie or I see one of, or Sebastian or Bob <laughs> occasionally, um, he's very busy and all over as most of the actors are after that, before that and after that. But to see them again is just wonderful because we had that, very special time together. It was such an easy yes. My agent called me and said, there's this film with Robert De Niro and he plays a hairdresser. And I said, I'm in. I don't care what it is. I want to, not only do I want to see it, I want to be in it. I play a senator from Virginia. Um, and she is, uh, she's got a very bad temper. She likes her own way. Very waspy, very sweet, very congenial and very polite, unless, you get on her wrong side, and then she's a tiger. Oh my gosh. Oh shit. Sebastian, your suit. It's Versace, do you like it? No, you moron, it's not up. Oh. So Ellie is based on his real wife, Lana, um, and I sort of, sort of made her my own, but I really looked at Lana for inspiration for clothes and wardrobe and hair and jewelry and stuff like that, um, and it's, and also, too, I met them at Renner's, at Jeremy Renner's house, because um, Sebastian married Renner and I in tag. And I saw, I met he and Lana, and I remember being struck with, they have this insane chemistry together. So it became very important for me to try to find that connection with Sebastian when we started filming. And I, I think we really, we did catch it. It's incredible. Kim Cattrall is an icon. Bob's an icon. I love Sebastian. David is, I think David kind of steals the movie. Anders is amazing. Brett. The only people I could complain about were maybe the Peacocks. <laughs> they're kind How of pains in the butt. A lot. And they're, they don't hit their mark. Don't these people have jobs? They got their money in the stock market, not in mayonnaise jars buried in their backyard. Well, this is a pretty big deal for all of us. You know, it's been a wonderful uh, journey because we got this wonderful script, uh, you know, by Austin and by uh, Sebastian, and then Robert De Niro is like, I mean, the experience of a lifetime for all of us. You know, and he didn't, uh, he didn't disappoint. You know, he's just. He's just a miraculous actor, and uh, I'll never forget. I'll never forget it. Watching him, I, I, I just it's spellbinding. Yeah. So the movie is about Sebastian and his father, uh, first generation Italian American, and his son meeting this waspy kind of out of touch family. I'm a member of that family. I play the kind of douchebag son-in-law or son, uh, brother-in-law to be for Sebastian, who. Uh, is an outgoing handful of nonsense. Everybody was amazing, you know, from the top to the bottom, to the left to the right. It was just a lot of fun, a lot of laughing, and uh, our director, Lord Teruso, wrangled all these cats in a way that just was uh, fun and free, and uh, just a good time. We, we saw it as an 
all out comedy. But what's surprising is how, how many people have told me how touched they are by it. And, um, you know, they're, you're dead. You've got one dad. And uh, this story is really a big salute and bravo to Salvo, who's Sebastian's dad. So I think in every way, all of us in the cast are saying the same thing as he is about his dad. That we love you. We love you. We need you.